is up guys Lord Respawn here back at it with another Super Mario Odyssey video so here we are in Mushroom Kingdom and we're talking about the extra challenges that Toadette gives you at the end of the game and the most efficient way to go about them so for those of you guys who don't know once you beat the game you can go to Mushroom Kingdom Peach's Castle run up the stairs and you can go and talk to Toadette. Now, I have already activated it. Um, but she will give you a list of challenges, 61 in total. And after completing each one, you will be rewarded with a power move. Um, as I mentioned, 61. So the way to get these, and the most efficient way to get these, is... And we're talking about you just finished the game, you just talked to to Toadette, and you know you're probably hovering around three four hundred power moons total when you talk to Toadette. If you didn't, you know, just passively playing the game, um, that kind of thing. So all of these all of these challenges are based are are around collecting a total amount of of something or doing a specific thing like collect 8-bit power moons, there's uh, treasure chests, there's uh, meet up with Captain Toad a certain amount of times. So these are all passive passive achievements that you have to do. So the most efficient way to knock these out, and as you can see, I have a ton left. The most efficient way is to not do not go through this list and start at the top and just be like, all right, you know, I'm going to grind out collect these power moons, right? Or I'm going to grind out these 8-bit power moons. I'm going to grind out these treasure chest ones. Do not do that. What you should do to knock these out in the most efficient way possible is to just go back to the first kingdom, Hat Kingdom, and, and just start there, 100% that kingdom. Come back to Toadette, talk to her. She'll give you some power moons. And then go to the next one. So what you're going to be doing is is 100%ing or gathering all of the power moons in a given um, in a given kingdom and then coming back and talking to Toadette each time. You don't want to just grind out, you know, uh, one of those challenges. If, if you need a lot to go, if you have 50 challenges left, don't sit there and grind out each one. Do it passively and, and knock out, you know, two birds with one stone by, by doing an entire kingdom at a time. Um, you know, that, that's just a little tip of, uh, a, a tip that I kind of figured out and as you can see I do have a lot to go here but you know talking with friends that, uh, that have all of the power moons or, or in the eight or nine hundreds um, you know that seems to be the best way to do it is not focus on each and every challenge but do it you know as you're enjoying the rest of the kingdoms and 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 passively enjoying them that's probably the most efficient way to do it so guys let me know in the comments what was your strategy for knocking these out? Um, there's a lot of them. There are 61. It does take quite a bit of grinding um, to to knock these out. But yeah, would love to know what you guys think. Also, let me know what you guys thought about Super Mario Odyssey. Obviously, I love the game. Uh, one of the best, if not the best Mario games in recent memory or ever. Uh, so yeah, more Super Mario Odyssey videos on the way. Hanging out with Toad here, and we will catch you on the next video. Thanks, guys.